this is a continuation of day three of uh, 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 Fossa Pup 64 uh, configuration. So uh, today uh, I will demonstrate how to uh, uh, properly install and uh, use uh, Vivaldi uh, browser. Although I like Pale Moon, which is the default. Uh, let me go ahead and Pale Moon. Uh, it's a, a great uh, browser uh, in my experience uh, with uh, th a slower 32-bit uh, uh, machines but uh, for modern uh, uh, hardware uh, I think Vivaldi uh, in my case is m uh, my preference so I usually just go to the website download Vivaldi and then uh, we can go here and because Puppy Linux can use uh, DEB file, uh, we'll go to uh, Linux DEB uh, 64 bit. And then we'll go ahead and uh, OK, install. And it's installing. Do you want to install this package? Yes. Wait, processing. So we'll give it a minute. And the uh, following has been installed. That's good. So we'll go ahead and close this. And then we'll uh, uh, see if the Vivaldi is uh, down. OK, Vivaldi, OK. So yes, uh, so it's installed. So that's pretty easy. Um, there is a uh, other uh, method to install uh, uh, packages in uh, Fossa Pub, but the one of the uh, packages uh, that's built in is a quick quick pet Fossa. So you first thing you should do is uh, update it first. And although there are uh, many choices, and I've used like. Uh, puppy chat in the past and you get a fairly quick response to questions but I haven't done that for the uh, last couple of years. There is a browser Vivaldi here for, but it did not work for me. So uh, similarly uh, I also tried to uh, uh, download uh, LibreOffice but it, uh, it would only uh, let me download uh, English uh, version rather than US version. So I ended up not using it. But usually, the first thing you want to try to do is go to Puppy Package Manager and then uh, look for uh, packages here. The Valdi is not here, so no matching names. So uh, I can just demonstrate how you can, for example, uh, install GIMP. And uh, here's GIMP 2.1. OK, and then, uh, and then I'm a little bit of a photo hobbyist. And I usually also uh, install Darktable, which is a great uh, photo editor, uh, just uh, very similar to uh, Photoshop. Or uh, light uh, Lightroom, I th I think it's called. So we'll just go ahead and uh, install these two, and it shouldn't take too long. Now, since uh, we uh, installed uh, Vivaldi, uh, we wanna uh, go through the brief uh, con initial configuration. So we had uh, set up uh, previously uh, for the palemoon.sh. Uh, so the uh, pale moon will start on uh, virtual screen number one. And similarly, uh, we're not going to be using pale moon as the default. So uh, what we want to do is just change the palemoon.sh to uh, uh, vivaldi.sh as I've uh, already done here and then within it you also has to have to replace the pale moon uh, here and here 
so uh, so the Vivaldi SH uh, is uh, properly configured. Additionally, what you have to do is to be able to trigger Vivaldi with a Super and W key, you have to uh, modify the WMRC personnel file uh, here and then uh, simply uh, replace the uh, uh, palemoon.sh to vivaldi.sh and, and then reboot. Then you should be able to uh, uh, just use the uh, uh, super w to bring up the uh, vivaldi and let's see if we uh, I'll just do that right now. So yes it starts and uh, you notice that uh, uh, it looks very different than default uh, when you first uh, uh, start up uh, Vivaldi and because what I've done is I've replaced a uh, let me just show you I've ref replaced the uh, under configuration uh, I've replaced the Vivaldi configuration folder with the one that I use on my primary uh, machine and the one that I use on a daily basis is uh, let me just show you my save folder is actually a FOSA pup 64 save BSPWM that's what the uh, tiling ma uh, file uh, the window manager I use and we can take a look at briefly inside of it you just simply click and then we'll go to the root and control H and then under that uh, configuration there is a Vivaldi uh, configuration this is all set up and uh, to the way I like it so I, re uh, I just simply move that over and uh, into this here replace this and similarly I also uh, had my own configuration of rocks file manager and uh, GIMP and uh, view nor and genie which is the uh, uh, wor uh, the editing software I just move all those over here just to and you can you can sometimes get a little uh, error message but it still works very well then after you reboot then you should have all this uh, your own configuration uh, uh, folders active so that and then you start uh, you start uh, the uh, Vivaldi and you're going to end up something similar to this if you had previously uh, configured Vivaldi and saved it in a save folder before there's a uh, yet another way of uh, uh, downloading and installing a uh, app that's not in uh, Puppy Package Manager. So we'll go ahead and Puppy Package Manager and then look for a a program called Shot Cut Cut, which is a, uh, a video editing software I use to make these YouTube videos. So we'll go ahead and look for it here. And although it's uh, there is a copy here, it's an old version okay and I've tried it and it doesn't work well so what I've decided to do is to look on in the internet and we'll go to uh, we tri uh, we'll launch the uh, Vivaldi and then go to a download shortcut and uh, uh, Puppy Linux can uh, use uh, what's called the app image file and it's, uh, it's sort of a universal, universal format uh, in that uh, add imi app image I understand also works in a Windows and other Linux and I think even a Mac so but I wanna uh, download shortcut sh shot cut Linux app image so we'll go ahead and click on that and then uh, we look this is the this is the uh, file that we want and we'll we'll download it again just to show you 
and it's uh, complete. So there is a uh, little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of quirkiness to uh, Vivaldi downloads, and Vivaldi downloads is n uh, it does it may not get uh, put into download folder. Some Vivaldi appli uh, the uh, browsers that I've used uh, with the Puppy Linux does indeed uh, put it here, but this particular one that I uh, installed today does not. And what you have to do is look under Spot. Spot is a name for, for non-root user. So we'll go into Spot and then it'll be in the downloads in the Spot. So, and we'll just cancel the one that's just downloaded. Uh, so this is the one I downloaded before the video uh, was uh, made. So what the app image uh, has to be uh, executable. It has to uh, convert it into executable. So what we can do is just go ahead and start up a uh, terminal in the, in the folder and then chmod plus x shotcut and then simply you notice it changes the color now it is the act uh, uh, the uh, uh, it has the executable file we can just try it and then so you notice it starts up the uh, program so now uh, you don't want to be a, a uh, looking for this uh, folder to down uh, to acti activate this uh, 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 program all the time so what we want to do is put it in the generally recommended uh, folder is a OPT folder and then I've already done it here but let me just go ahead and so what I've done here is, uh, is exactly same same file. I just uh, used F2 to rename into shortcut, and then and then app image, and then I moved it. So let me just go ahead and cancel, the, and then we'll go ahead and move it again. So I moved it. Okay, so now I can click and and then it'll start the program as it's shown here. Okay, now it is still inconvenient to uh, look into a OPT and click on this. So what I uh, find help helpful to me that works for me is that I put it in. I put a link in a folder that I use to make YouTube videos. So, let me just go ahead and do What I've done is I dragged this here, a link, what's called the absolute link. And then every time I click here, the shortcut starts. So, so for me, whenever I want to do a YouTube video uh, or video imaging, I just uh, go to a particular uh, folder. So I actually have it. Uh, so whenever I push 7, it comes up. And then so I just click on this and I, I start uh, it's a video editing app software starts. So just to summarize, if you wanna uh, uh, install a uh, install an application, what you wanna do is uh, use Puppy Package Manager uh, as the initial step. And I I would say uh, greater than ninety percent of the time that I have been able to find the correct uh, uh, correct uh, application to run. First, uh, as I demonstrated, Quick Pet. Uh, is not that helpful in my opinion. Uh, obviously, the uh, uh, what you can uh, always do is go to a uh, puppy uh, Linux forum and then ask. Um, and there is uh, yet a uh, 
puppy puppy index where there are uh, for example under pet packages of pup of FOSA 64 you may be able to find some packages but some uh, I, I just given you some uh, information on how to install and use uh, uh, a different application in uh, puppy Linux up uh, especially a uh, FOSA pup I hope this has been helpful to you